Okay, now we have um, our two scan families, A and B. Uh, we just got through trimming scan family B, but now we need to align it. And the way that we do that is that we double click it, like so, to open it up. Okay, and just like before, we want to find um, an element within the family. Uh, we open it up first. Now let's go to our, let's go back and go to our align mode, get into our align mode. And we want to pull out one of the family members so that we get our two aligned sides. Now in this one, I'm going to take a different approach. In the other one I showed you how you could use the, uh, the alignment dots that you've drawn to align your model. In this one, I'm going to try to do it just using uh, model features, features on my model. Okay, And so I look at my model and I have one in this area right here that I can put an alignment dot to there. I'm going to do a similar thing over here. I got that right there. So those are two matching features. Okay, I'm going to uh, look over here in the chin area, I have uh, sort of like the chin right here. And I'm going to align it with the chin right over here. Those are two areas. And I need to find one more. Let's see what we have. Um, oh, we can use the Adam's apple. There are that little hump right there. And I'm going to align it with this one right there. And uh, now that I have those three areas, I can attach those scans together. And we're going to refine the alignment. And now that family is uh, aligned uh, within itself. Okay. And now, now that I've done that, now what I want to do, I want to go up and I want to align the two families. Okay, now we're going to align the two families uh, together into a single mesh. So we're doing an alignment between uh, two different families. One's A and the other's B. Okay, unless I'm going to turn on the uh, texture just to make life a lot easier. And I'm going to add a dot here along this dot right there. Dot there. Uh, because uh, these are both uh, uh, have been aligned solidly, I'm going to turn this around and I'm going to get me an alignment spot in the back. See if there's a feature or a dot in the back that I can use for alignment. And I have these two dots like right along here. Right along here. These two match up right along here. So I'm going to choose this one here. I'm going to choose this one here. Um, and then I'm going to rotate my model around here. And here. And I have a couple choices here. I'm going to choose right here, this area right there, and this area right there. And I can attach my scans. And let's take a look. And we'll refine that. Okay. And once you do this, um, it will join those two families together, okay, and we're aligned within two thousandths of an inch, and that's our uh, line model between those two families. You notice how they're both in the green zone, which means that the families have been joined together, okay, and now's a good time to save this file. Uh, it would be a good time to save this file inside of a scan studio because that pretty much completes uh, the workflow 
from within Scan Studio. Um, at this point, we're going to move into RapidWorks, where we're going to pick up with our fuse polish and output portions of our uh, scanning process, and 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 we're going to go over some of the big basic workflow techniques within um, within RapidWorks uh, for completing your completing your, your your scan models. So that concludes this tutorial.